So Thomas is going to show us his three favorite ways uh, to use alignment sticks to your benefit, help you improve your game, and ultimately lower your scores. Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell. He's a master club fitter at Second Swing, and it's a beautiful day. It's going to be in the 60s out here today. Uh, so we're going to go outside here, and we're going to uh, you know, have Thomas show us a little bit of how to use alignment sticks. Uh, you may see golfers on the driving range at your local golf course using these in different fashions, different ways. Uh, so Thomas is going to show us his three favorite ways uh, to use alignment sticks to your benefit, help you improve your game, and ultimately lower your scores. So, uh, Thomas, why don't we get right into it here? Uh, I know we can briefly outline them here, maybe, uh, kind of why people use alignment sticks and ultimately what they're for. So, um, why don't you give us that information and we'll kind of have you show us the best ways to use them. Yeah, so these are three ways to really practice efficiently on the, on the range. So, the first most important thing with the alignment stick is your alignment. So, yeah. target. So, you want to make sure you're aimed at the target. Yeah. So I like to use this alignment stick for my feet line to make sure yeah. that it is parallel to my target or club face essentially. Yeah. So I like to use alignment stick to line myself up with the target. Second important thing is ball position. Yeah. So very basic fundamentals we're talking about here. So ball position, I like to make sure that I'm in the right ball position. So I like to place that alignment stick yeah. down on the, on the ground. And then the third thing I like to use this with a lot is to help my club path. I don't always have access to a track man outside yep. or not many people actually do. Right. So you've got to find ways to assess where that golf ball is starting. They're starting to the left, starting to the right. So I always like to use an alignment stick and stick it in the ground yep. and use it as my target to start the ball right of the tar of the stick or left of the target or really trying to get it to start right off the target. Okay. So those are my three ways to use these alignment sticks. Yeah, well, let's get, uh, let's maybe show us each one. Huh? Okay, sounds good. Okay, so Thomas, you've got yourself lined up to your target. You kind of, you know, you walk back, you make sure it was lined up directly at your target. Is this something, now you're, I mean, doing this drill, of course, number one priority, make sure you're lined up at your target, but is this something maybe if you don't do on the range or you're not focused on it, uh, somebody can, without knowing, be maybe lined up open or closed all the time, and that's affecting their shot without them moving. Yeah, the number one reason for bad golf swings is because people are aiming correctly. So I'm making sure that I'm aimed correctly. So you notice when I stood, stepped back and I was looking at this, what I was doing is I was drawing a parallel line to this alignment stick yeah. to, the, to the target. So when I'm lined up, my club face is aimed at the target. But my feet are going to be slightly left. Now, okay. it's going to be parallel to that alignment. Yeah. So my feet aren't going to be aimed at the target. They're going to be parallel to the target. Mm -hmm. so that's what I was doing. I was getting myself kind of line, lined up in there. Other times, bad golf swings, so over-the-top move, or a very, very in-to-out golf swing is generated by someone aimed to the yeah. right or aimed to the left. And they don't even know they're doing it. Yep. You come back and you, a lot of times uh, I've given a lesson or you know, a club fitting, I just drop the alignment stick down and say, hey, do you realize <laughs> where you're aimed? I'm like, and that had no, no foot. Yeah. So this is probably the, this is the definitely the number one most important teaching, cheapest cheap teaching tool you have out there. You okay. can use your golf club instead of the alignment stick. This alignment stick is from Menards. It's just a yeah. $2 stick, so it's not very, very <laughs> expensive at all. But it's very important. You want to make sure you're yes. aimed at the target. Yeah, that's something that's you know very simple that can you know if someone wants to correct the swing maybe they're missing out to the right and you know it's not it is their alignment that's the issue but they might need something else and start correcting their swing path or something that doesn't need to be fixed so it's a simple you know tool to use on the range make yourself make sure you're lined up and then that will ultimately result in better scores better shots on the golf course so that's it's pretty simple but it's uh, an easy tool to use so uh, I guess now we can get to the number two best way to use an alignment stick. Yep. All right, so Thomas, you've added a second alignment stick here. Uh, it looks like you know perpendicular essentially to the first one. What does this one do? For you? Yeah, so there's basically a 90 degree angle here. Yep. But I like to use keep that other alignment stick down to help me. 
doesn't have to be there, but it's important to make sure you're aimed at the yeah. target, so that's why I left it there too. So I grabbed driver. So driver, you want your ball position to be in right inside yeah. your left heel. Mm -hmm. So this was a good way for me to double check that my ball position with my driver was in my left heel. Okay. So I was kind of pushed kind of right against there. Okay, now with other clubs, you're gonna move this second alignment stick a little bit farther back in your stance gradually because we've already got a, a video shot on ball position. Yep. Um, and so we know that, you know, basically from wedge up to driver, it kind of gradually moves forward uh, in your stance. And so, like, for example, with a pitching wedge, if you're hitting on the range and wanted to use two alignment sticks for this purpose, this second one would be a little farther back in your stance. Yeah, so if I was in pen pitching wedge, pitching wedge would be right in the middle of my stance. Okay. Nothing changed. I would just have pitching wedge in my hand, and my feet would be split right between that mm -hmm. alignment stick. This is again something simple that you can just make sure you're doing something, you know, like the fundamentals that you mentioned, just the right way, so that on the course when things, uh, when this type of thing, you maybe have a bad swing, so you know that this is not the reason for it. It could be more about your actual swing that needs to be changed. You're not trying to fix the wrong thing. That's correct. And then the final usage for the alignment segment is actually focusing on that swing too. All right, well, let's let's see. Okay. Thomas, you've added another alignment stick in front of you here, about about what, six feet or so in front of you, uh, sticking up out of the ground. So what is the purpose of that? So this is a good way for me to assess whether it's my club path or my face angle, which is causing the ball to curve. Okay. So if I'm working on my swing, I have this alignment stick, but I'm trying to work on my swing to be in to out, in into more essentially. Yeah. I don't want this ball to start left of this. Yep. I want the ball to start just right of it. Got it. I'm trying to hit it dead straight, but I want to hit it pretty much right over that over that stick here as well. Yep. A good indicator of someone that slices the ball is a shot where the ball starts flat like this and it gets up to the right of it too. Okay. So it's a good way to assess whether it is your club path, your face angle, um, which is causing the ball to do certain things on the golf course. Okay. So this can also be an advantage for somebody that does like to shape the ball multiple ways. Um, you know, if you want to, for example, hit a draw, well, now you know you have to start the ball outside of this alignment stick and then bring it back towards the center, and vice versa for a fade. Uh, but in this case, you're also suggesting that it can help you learn about what maybe is going wrong with your swing. Whereas you just push it, for example, let's just start right, in, start right at this alignment stick and keep going. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm trying to hit a draw, I want to start right of it, I want the ball to end left of the stick. Yeah. Trying to fade, start left of it, and right of the stick. So that's when it comes down to shaping shots. I'm just trying to groove my golf swing. I know I don't like to hit an over the top golf swing. Not many golfers do like to know the top golf right. swing. So I'll be paying attention to where that ball starts on this line. And of course, if you're trying to hit a dead straight ball, you're trying to go either right over the top of that or even make contact with it, right? Yeah, pretty much right over the top of it. I did lean this forward this way a little bit. So as I hit it directly face off, but it's not going to, it may fly up in there a little yeah. bit, but it's not going to break or, I haven't seen it broken yet. Well, and that's, you know, if you do hit that, it's a great shot. It, it means you're starting the ball directly at your target, which is a good thing. So that yeah. means you're, you're making progress and the alignment sticks are probably helping you out. So uh, golfers, that's three ways to use alignment sticks to your advantage to improve on the driving range. Thomas uh, has showed you the, the three best ways to do so. Uh, and the, again, these things are, are cheap. They're easy to use. Uh, and you can also use something as simple as a golf club as well uh, in your bag to uh, put these to use. So, Thomas, thanks for showing us, and I'm going to try these on the range now. Yeah, not a problem.